Hi, welcome to Future Make. Today I'm going to introduce a new product, the Poly S Q1. But first, let's take a look at the evolution of the pen. In 1200 BC, the Egyptians extracted coloring from fruits, plants, and minerals to make more ink. They used thin reeds as pens to write with this ink. In 700 AD, the Romans invented the quill pen using goose feathers for the quills. The quill pen then remained the primary writing instrument in use for the next 1,000 years. Finally, in 1803, English engineer Brian Tanger received a patent for the world's first steel pen tip. This replaced the goose feathered quills that had been in use for a thousand years since. In 1884, an insurance salesman from New York, Lewis Edison Woodman, invented the first practical fountain pen. Four years later, in 1888, Hungarian reporter Ladislaw Billow and his brothers invented the first working ballpoint pen. More recently, in 1984, Japan's Sakura Company released the world's, fourth, the world's first gel ink pen. Now these tools have all been used to record history. At the same time, their discovery and development have helped to write history. But what should we use to write today? In recent years, 3D printing technology has developed rapidly. One exciting result of this new technology is the creation of the 3D pen. These pens combine the power of an entire 3D printer into a small, portable writing tool. These pens also allow users to draw or write in three dimensions, opening up a whole new world of possibilities beyond the traditional pen and paper. With 3D pens, Writing is done by using plastic strands as ink. These strands are first melted inside the pen, and then they're cooled using an internally mounted fan located inside of the pen tip that cools the molten plastic almost instantaneously. This real-life magic pen has revolutionized artistic creation, allowing artists to bring their ideas to life with the wave of a hand. Using 3D pens, Artists can create anything they can imagine. Anything from 3D animals, to jewelry, to even a model of the Eiffel Tower. Now, the first 3D pens were innovative and revolutionary. But, like all new technologies, there is still significant room for improvement. Ex the extremely hot temperatures used by the first generation of 3D pens make them dangerous for inexperienced users, and especially for children. In addition, they can produce a burning plastic odor. Also, the large power requirements of these pens mean that the pens must be plugged in at all times. That is, there's a power cord hanging off the back of your pen. This power cord can get in the way when you're trying to move around to design from another angle, or it might even pull the pen out of your grip. And so, because of these problems, the Poly S was born. Polyus is the next generation 3D pen. Instead of using molten plastic as ink, it uses light sensitive photopolymers. What this means is that the Polyus is safer and more efficient than the first generation pens. When we were developing Polyus, we were focused specifically on a couple groups of users. The first was designers and makers, people working at home to create jewelry, artistic creations, any sorts of things. The other was children, who may have not been able to use the earlier generation pens because their parents were worried about the high temperatures being too dangerous. So when designing the Poly S, we make sure to meet the needs of these groups better than previous generations. Next, I'd like to introduce a few of the advantages Poly S has over similar products. Okay, so first, let's talk about some of the aspects of Poly S that makes it convenient to use. First, is that there's no power cord and no material dragging out the back of the pen. It's completely wireless. 
This means that while you're drawing, you don't have to worry about the cord getting in the way of your designs or pulling the pen out of your hand. Another convenience is that because it has a battery inside the pen, the poly -S is easily chargeable using a USB port. A single charge can last upwards of an hour, which should provide plenty of time for whatever design you're currently working on. The next feature is the integrated control buttons that are designed into the control panel on the pen, right here. Uh, in the, at the bottom here, we have an LED that shows the amount of power remaining in the pen. On top of that is the fast backward button that is used to remove the cork from the cartridge before it's time to replace the cartridge. And on top of that is the speed control switch. This is pretty useful because, as we know, 3D inks are the, the time that it takes 3D inks to harden is dependent on a lot of environmental factors, such as temperature and humidity. So people who are working in a dry, in a hot, dry environment are going to have their ink solidify much faster than people working in a cool, humid environment. For this reason, we've given the users the ability to adjust their speed control, that is, to adjust the speed at which the ink comes out of the pen. For most people, once you find the speed that's right for you, you won't need to change it again. But if it's necessary, you always have the option. On top of that, we have a safety feature, or we have the safety control um, that can be used to sh shut off the ultraviolet light when the pen is lifted over level. That'll make it easier to protect children from getting the ultraviolet light in their eyes. Um, in the front of the pen, here we have the two primary buttons. This one here is the button that's used to draw out ink from the pen while you're, while you're writing or drawing. And the button on top is used to illuminate without drawing out ink, just to turn on the ultraviolet lights. This can be useful if, for example, you just drew out a portion that didn't harden completely. You can, you can shine the ultraviolet lights on it again to spot harden or make it harden quicker. On the top of the pen here, we have a convenient on and off switch. The next feature is the internal ink cartridge. Unlike most 3D pens, or most first generation 3D pens, um, all of the ink that's used in the Poly S Q1 is contained entirely within the pen itself, in an ink cartridge which is much more convenient than first generation pens that had the material hanging out of the back where it could get in the way of your drawing. A single ink cartridge for the Poly S can provide about 13 minutes of continuous drawing. Now most people won't be drawing for 13 minutes straight. They're going to be taking breaks while they're drawing. So for the average user, that's about a half an hour of drawing time, which should be plenty of time to finish whatever design you're working on. When the cartridge runs out of ink, it's easily replaced by opening the pen, twisting the pen in the middle, pulling out the empty cartridge, and putting a new one in. Finally, we'll talk about the removable and replaceable pen tip, right here. The pen tip uh, comes in a standard size of one millimeter, but it, we also offer several different sizes, including two and three millimeters so that users have the option to customize the pen or the line thickness for their specific application. Um, in addition, the pen tip can be removed easily in case, there is a, in case it becomes clogged up. The pen, can, the pen tip can be easily removed and then the clogging material can be pushed out and then attached back on. This makes for very convenient use. Okay, so next we're gonna talk about safety. Now, the Poly S is extremely safe. Unlike first generation 3D pens, it doesn't use the hot molten ABS plastic as its ink. Instead, it uses light sensitive photopolymers. What that means is that the ink comes in a liquid and then when it's expelled from the pen, it's exposed to ultraviolet light, which causes it to solidify, just like, a molten, uh, just like the molten plastic solidifying in the air. The only difference is that Poly S is operating at normal room temperature. It's cool operation. This is much safer than first generation pens that had operating temperatures upwards of 200 degrees Celsius. Imagine holding something as hot as the average home oven in your hand or in your kid's hand. 
Now, we added an additional safety feature for children because I know some parents might be worried about the ultraviolet, the ultraviolet light getting in their children's eyes. So, for that reason, the Poly S comes equipped with a child safety level sensor, which automatically turns off the beam if the pen is lifted above level. This means that it's nearly impossible for children to shine the light in their own eyes. Um, however, more advanced or adult users may want the ability to be able to write upwards if, for example, you were writing on the walls or on the ceiling. For that reason, we added the ability to turn off the level sensor for those that feel they don't want it. But the standard uh, setting is for it to be on. Um, furthermore, for those parents who are uncomfortable with any sort of UV light in their children's toys, we expended a lot of effort to make a special polymer specifically for kids. This polymer, this polymer is called the blue light resin, and it hardens not with ultraviolet light, but with blue light in the visible spectrum. This means that it's extremely safe. It's just as safe as, say, a flashlight. Um, in addition, the polymers are safe to the touch, non-hazardous, that means they can be used to draw designs on your body, on your skin, or on clothes. Next, let's talk about the wide range of inks that are available for use with the Poly SQ1. First is our traditional multicolor inks. They come in all sorts of colors, red, yellow, green, blue, pretty much any color of the rainbow you can use in your designs. The next are the glow-in-the-dark inks, which are great for children making a design to, say, hang from their bedroom ceiling or put on the walls, or to make a glow-in-the-dark fridge ornament. Next, we have our temperature-changing inks, which are a lot of fun to make designs on coffee cups or soup bowls, and then watch as your designs change color when the color in the material that they're written on changes, uh, changes temperature. Fourth, we have the transparent inks, which are great for making see-through objects or designs. And last but not least are the blue light inks that we talked about earlier that provide an extra level of safety for children. And last, we'll talk a little bit about the energy savings that come with the Poly SQ1. Now, unlike the first generation pens that use heat to melt their ink, the Poly SQ1 just uses ultraviolet light to solidify the ink. This cuts down on energy costs greatly, which helps both to save money for you, the user, and is good for the environment by cutting down on overall energy costs. Uh, in addition, this means that the Poly SQ1 has a rechargeable battery and is completely wireless, which makes it more convenient to use. So, as you can see, the possible uses for 3D pens are endless. You have the freedom to create anything you want. Really, the only limit is your own imagination. When developing the Poly SQ1, we were focused on a few key groups of users. The first are designers or makers working at home, people creating their own jewelry, working on graphic design, making clothing, or just doing simple arts and crafts. The second group is children, because while there are existing 3D pens on the market, that many kids would love to use, their parents might not be so happy letting them use something that can rise to dangerous temperatures. For that reason, we tried to develop a tool that was extremely safe that kids can use to express and develop their creative energy. The last group is people that uh, do any sort of modeling work, such as architects. Imagine architects being able to discuss their design without having to rely on complicated 3D modeling software that's both difficult to use and time consuming. Imagine instead that at a conference meeting, each person has a Poly S pen. When they were trying to discuss possible new design options, each person could draw out in real time the design that they had in their mind. And then they can compare the models immediately. This both saves time and makes it more convenient to share opinions. Okay, well that's all for today. I hope you all have a better understanding of this amazing new product, the Poly SQ1. 
In the near future, we will be showing our prototypes at some electronics expos so that you'll have the opportunity to see our, project, our products in action. In addition, in November, we will be launching our product on Kickstarter. So please follow us on Twitter or Facebook so that you can stay informed about any new developments. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.